Hey, it's Dan McDonald and I have a very special video for you today. I've also got a microphone, so hopefully the sound is a little bit better. Uh, but I have this. This is two months old coconut cheese. So I'm going to show you the yogurt, but the yogurt cultured long enough with the Puridime Life Biotic becomes cheese and there's many different ways you can do this. I'll share some of the creative ideas with you throughout the video, but let me show you how to make coconut yogurt, you know, non-dairy yogurt, vegan yogurt, whatever you want to call it. There's many different kinds of yogurt. So this is the basic yogurt and then you can take this and what you can do and I'll be doing another video after this one. I'll be making the angel sauce, which is a coconut and macadamia nut yogurt. But you can also do coconut and pecan, and that is great for desserts, throw in some dates or whatever. You can also make ice cream out of that. Coconut walnut, coconut Brazil is awesome. And then you start taking the Pyridine natural protein. When you take the coconut Brazil Pyridine natural protein, then you've got the ultimate bodybuilder power because the Brazil nuts are really good for the reproductive organs, all 22 essential amino acids in the Pyridine Natural Protein. I've had a lot of questions about that from some of my protocols that are generally detoxification protocols. But then what you've got are people that are like, well, there's no protein, I'll die. You know, So then it's like within, there's a detox protocol where you're not necessarily trying to build up. You're actually trying to break down. There's catabolic and then there's anabolic. You know, and you have to decide, you know, uh, what you're trying to do. Are you trying to gain weight and put on muscle or are you trying to detoxify and get rid of the waste matter that builds up in your body over time and as you release that waste matter you just feel better because the waste comes out of the brain, the waste comes out of the colon, the waste comes out of the heart, it comes out of the blood stream, it comes out of the lymphatic and out of the tissues and then the tissues are at a much higher level. So there's detoxification and then there's rebuilding. So Within the yogurt here, this is going to be the, just, just the plain coconut yogurt, which you can use young Thai coconuts. And I also have, just, just uh, to keep the video interesting, I like to share a lot of little stuff. But anyways, I've got uh, coconut milk as well, where I just take a piece of coconut about like this and blend that in this much water, you see. But now I'm going to take a lot of meat and I'm going to add it to the water and blend it and we're gonna make some yogurt. Okay, so check it out. Bam. I've got three different types, three different sizes. Here's one, super flimsy. And here's a, here's a thick, thicker. And then I actually have, and then this one here, which I haven't peeled yet. You can see I have to, I, I'm glad that I mentioned that because you have to peel it to have a really superior yogurt clean it and rinse it. You see the, now you, you can eat this stuff. It's a great source of fiber to tell you the truth. I eat a lot of it when I'm just out in the jungle eating coconuts. But when I'm making dressings and yogurts, I'm trying to peel off and rinse it. So there's, I have some thin, thicker, and then really mature meat here. And I can take the mature meat, if you ever find that, not all of you have access to coconuts, I understand that, but you can take that and put that through the green star and rice will come out one side and the fat will come out on the bottom. So you juice the mature coconut meat and you have rice that comes out on one side that you can use for sushi or anything else, a vegetable rice dish. And then you also um, get the fat out the bottom. Then you add that to some coconut water maybe in one of these smaller ones, and all the fat, just like milk, just like goat's milk, just like any other milk, all the fat rises to the top and then becomes a cream for a few days. Then after a couple more days, it turns into a cheese. Can you dig it? So I'm just kind of uh, sharing a lot of different ideas here, but you know, not all of you have access to coconuts, but even if you don't, what you do is you utilize the foods that you have around you. When I lived in Arizona, I was surprised because I thought, oh, Washington is where apples grow, right? But there was a lot of apples. 
in Arizona. They were smaller than the Washington ones, but they were just as delicious and just as versatile. And there were just as many varieties. So it doesn't matter where you are, doesn't matter where I go, I find the local fresh food. It just so happens that I'm in Hawaii. I have climbing gear. I have all these friends and they're always telling me, well, come climb these trees. Then I trade them. They let me keep most of the coconuts. I give them some, chop them one open. Then I bring them home, process them and make this kind of thing. And I make dressings and I make juices. And then I give half that back and keep half for myself. And so, and that just keeps and that's how the world should be. You know what I'm saying? That we all are serving one another. So what you do is you take about two cups of coconut meat. This is four cups of coconut meat. Then I'm going to take four cups of the water here. Oops. And then I'm going to take, we'll do an experiment here and see how this two month old cheese is. Okay. Then I'm going to take the life biotics paradigm, which is a culture medium. It's really good for your gastrointestinal tract, probiotics, pro-life, you know how we've been inundated with antibiotics. And that's why the probiotics industry is launching off because the medical, the Rockefeller medicine has literally destroyed our guts. The food manufacturers have literally destroyed our guts. It's so that it's the chemical conglomerate that we're fighting against with natural foods a detoxification supplements and protocols, fasting, fruit diets, juicing, detoxification. We're, we're fighting against the man, the system that's designed really because it's sickness for profit. And that's why I'm trying to just, you know, share health, you know, as much as I can on what really works because you don't have to get sick, but you have to avoid all the weird foods and you have to avoid all of the um, all the tests and all the stuff because it's not right. It's not real. None of it's real. It's like you got to get yourself harmonized by aligning with harmony itself. It's already in you operating. It's the divine intelligence. And that is your master healer. Remember that. That's why healing is simple, but it's also very hard because we've been inundated with propaganda since day one. And that's all you need for that. Now I'm going to blend this. too bad a little too thin that's why I went over and peeled another piece I just wanted to add a little bit more to this one better save myself some for the angel sauce so now I'm gonna blend that again and I think this will be more of the consistency that I want Wow. Oh yeah, exactly. Nice. So a nice yogurt, you can make it thicker if you want. You can make it thinner if you want. You could drink this if you wanted. You could put this cream on top of bananas, on top of papayas. Um, you can actually make a pina colada, take about a lot less fat. Just take coconut and pineapple. This is a white sugar loaf pineapple. Next level. And the list goes on and on. But one of my favorite ones, in fact, that's what I was going to do today. One of my pineapples just fell. I'll get that later. But I'm going to do a smoothie. In fact, I might just do that right now off back, tail back off at the end of this thing. But um, the uh, banana papaya smoothie. And then I put the life essentials in the period I'm natural protein. Then you got your carbs, your proteins, your fats, like one meal a day of just for like bodybuilding or anything that you want. Energy off the hook. All good, whole, pure, natural foods, you know. Boom. So there is, um, you can put it in the large one. Or you can put it in the small one. It doesn't matter. There's infinite dressings that you can make out of this and infinite uses. You can put it on top of like a P90 
pecan, date, pie, you know, anything. So let's try this out. Come here, baby. Ooh, what's, do you hear that? Did you hear, ooh. And it's alive because it's popping out the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave the top. Yep, and get to the primo underneath there. And let me see how this is. This is two months coconut cheese. Oh, dude. Oh, my goodness sakes. Oh, my God. Wow. You can take some of this. Put it on a little plate, sprinkle a little sea salt, rosemary, and then put it on your crackers, your raw crackers, or your, or you could dip celery into it. Man, but I like it just like this. This will be really good on bananas. Oh, uh, mmm. I had a batch go six months once. You can also take this right here and use this to culture your next yogurt because you can make this life biotic last like a year. You know what I mean? Or longer if you just kept using this much right here and put that in your next batch. Can you dig it? Wow. And it's like these billions turn into trillions. And the, and the flavor, and the texture, and the vibration, it'll give you goosebumps right up your spine. At least it is to me right now. Because it's so alive. Those probiotics are genius. It's an amazing science. Can you dig it? And to use that as a culturization medium, especially for the coconut almond yogurt, coconut pecan, coconut macadamia, that's my favorite. But I always use the local stuff. You use the local stuff you got. You only need a few simple foods to keep yourself healthy, to connect yourself to the earth, and to give yourself the energy, the carbohydrates, and to feed the microorganisms that produce the life consciousness that you want. Everybody wants a different life consciousness. That's why some people eat animal foods, and some people eat the plant-based, because that's the consciousness that they're choosing. Who's right or wrong? None of us would be here without both. So the carnivores are wrong, the vegans are wrong, and everyone should be able to be free to make their own decision. That's me, I love, I love animals, but I also am nobody's judge either. That's just how I roll, because uh, believe me, I don't got no right to judge nobody, okay? <laughs> if you could, if it's wrong, I've done it, okay? This is amazing. Thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Now, I'm not gonna let this sit for two months, but I could if I wanted. One final thing I wanted to share is that you could, you could use different sizes of these and then you could just dunk, put it on there and then do your little rosemary or basil or sea salt or some granulated garlic or you know, you know what you do. You know what you got. You know what you like. You know where you're at. It's always a controversy. You know, what you eat, man. I can't believe it. Blah, blah, blah. But I like to be like, because I understand the food trip, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to let everybody be free. Because ain't nobody want to be policed. When they tripping, they tripping. Okay? And everybody be tripping every once in a while. And they trip. And you don't want anybody judging you when you tripping because life is hard. Can you dig it? So you got nothing but love from DTM. But sometimes people will be like, oh, DTM, the real DTM. When I say F off, when they're like super negative under my thing, I don't really say that, but I'm like, listen, you are like morbidly obese and you look terrible. Why are you judging me and what I eat and share with my friends? You are not in a position at 300 pounds to be saying anything about health to anyone. And so I'm not really like, I'm not exactly loving but I'm more like, yo, you about to get blocked because negativity just sucks. I have enough of it for, for my own inner world that I don't need to have it coming from outside or making more of it. You know what I'm saying? So this is social media. Nothing's personal. 
I'm just doing my thing. This is the real deal holy field right here. I'm stoked out of my mind. This is way better than I thought it could be. I've, I've only done this a few times in my life because it never lasts. You know, I might go like two or three weeks, but two months, this is amazing. I'm stoked out of my mind. I didn't know. I've never really had one go off. I had one sit there for six months and I ate it. So who knows how long, just the probiotics, they just keep going and they keep it fresh so it's like a preservative. Mm. Word. So I'm gonna keep this video marathon rolling. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I hope you learned something today. I really enjoyed this kind of stuff and I'll see you on the next video. I gotta look at this big ass just, I mean, this is next, next level. Mm. Mahalo. Mm. Leave me a comment. Thumbs up. Check out the links in the description. Peace be with you. Out. 16, 16. Oh, missed it. <laughs> Stop, you damn thing.